Hi, my name is Scott Cowan, and I'm a developer on the Rational Team Concert product. I want to demonstrate an integration with IBM Urban Code Deploy that will help your team achieve continuous delivery and continuous deployment. I'd like to demonstrate the integration with a simple application that is a test.txt file on an Apache HTTP server that will get built by a new RTC build and published to an IBM Urban Code Deploy server and then deployed in that HTTP server. So you can see the file here. It's got the build number of the RTC build in the contents of the file. So let's take a look in RTC and see what's involved. I already have a build engine. It's a jazz build engine. And I have a build definition. In the build definition, I've set up the jazz source control to build against my build workspace and load files into a load directory. And although that's not strictly used by this particular test, uh, I can introduce traceability between the deployed artifact and this build by doing so. The command line for this build is simply to create a new file called test.txt and echo this string into the contents of that file. And then after the build runs, post build deploy will be invoked. And in this deploy, I can set up the connection details. So I've got the server URI here. I've got the username and password. And I can test the connection. If I want to secure the password, I can use a password file on the machine that's running the Jazz Build Engine. And then I want to upload into an IBM Ring Code Deploy uh, component named test.txt and create a new version with the same label as this build. And I want to publish this particular file that I've just generated from the command line. And set some properties. The build result, UUID, snapshot, and workspace, as well as some links to uh, introduce the traceability from the component version in Urban Code Deploy back to the build in Rational Team Concert. And then lastly, I can optionally actually request the build or the deploy process to run. Run for this application in this environment and run this process. So when I request the build, If it succeeds, I can open up the build result. And the most valuable thing right off the bat is the external link to the new component version that was created in Urban Code Deploy. So if I click on that link, it will bring me to the Urban Code Deploy server. And here's a new component version with the same label as the build. And in it, I've got a new file, test.txt. You can download that file and look at the contents. There it is. In the configuration, there are version properties. And those are the properties that were published. And then there's also links. bring me back to the build result. Or the snapshot. Or the workspace. So now that the component version has been created, the last step of the build was to actually deploy it. Previously deployed version was October 18th, 1154. And if I refresh now, I should get the same 
version that was just uh, created by our build. So that's a quick demo of what you can do with Rational Team Concert and IBM Urban Code Deploy. If you want to see a little more detail, I'll continue on with the details in Urban Code Deploy itself. So what were those fields that we entered at the end of the deploy section of the post-build deploy? Well, we entered the application, and this is where I've set up the test.txt web page. And the test.txt web page is deployed into the Higgins environment. There could be multiple here, test environments, production environments. And at any point in Urban Code Deploy, I can request a process to run on a particular version. Success. Let's go back and see if it updates to 1040. There it is. So that is what we're getting Rational Team Concert build to invoke at the end of the post-build deploy. Well, that concludes my demonstration. I hope that can help you get started quickly. Uh, you'd obviously need a little more detail about IBM Urban Code Deploy to set up your application environment, your components and processes. But once you do that, invoking them from a Rational Team Concept build is fairly quick and should get you up and going with continuous delivery and continuous deployment. Thank you for watching, and I hope you get up and going quickly.